shop is closed. Then the girl gets in the back seat with Joran, and then you drive off. And a friend was yelling at her to get out of the car. Matt! I can pull over if you want to go back with your friends. Screw that, man. We can give her a ride. She's drunk. It's too much trouble. Shut up. She wants to go, so let's go. I wanna go see the shark. <laughs> There's no sharks. Come on, Deepak, just give oh, There are so sharks at the lighthouse, someone told me. Okay, so we'll take you to the lighthouse. Right, Satish? <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen this girl? She's missing. No, no. She, she was here just a few nights ago. Excuse me, have you seen this girl? She's she's missing. She's my daughter. Excuse me, have you seen this girl? She was here a few nights ago. She's missing. She's missing. Have you seen this girl? She was here just a few nights ago. Go back to the hotel. Let me get some food in here. No. Natalie may be someplace where she can't eat. And if she can't eat, then, then I'm not eating. And, and if she's not sleeping, then I'm not. Excuse Beth? me. Have you seen this girl? Beth? She's missing. She's You're my not daughter. gonna do her any good if you run yourself ragged. Don't even bother. This is Beth. Yes, yes. I I'm her mother. What? Where? There she is. What color is your daughter's hair? She's blonde. And what color are her eyes? Blue. Mm -hmm. Does she have any history of seizures or epilepsy? No. What? Why are you asking me this? I thought you wanted to ask me about Yaron Vandersloot. You told some of the kids on the trip with Natalie he was a university student in Holland here on vacation. He lied. Local boys often pretend to be tourists. It makes it easier for them. Easier for them to, to what? Meet some girls, have some fun. Is that what Yaron and the Capos told you? That they took my daughter to have some fun? No, 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 no. Their, their statements all agree. They, they drove around for a while and then they dropped her off back at the hotel. And you believe them? There's no evidence to suggest otherwise. Look, we're tracking down the security guards from the hotel. We'll find out which one talked to her and maybe he saw her get into another car or wander off. This island, it's very safe. Tourists get lost all the time, you know, for a week. They always turn up. If someone tells me that one more time, I am gonna lose my mind. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Who's stupid? Choran told Terry the whole thing about the Natalie chick. Terry just emailed me asking if I got a piece of that. And what are you telling him? I'm saying, yeah, mofo. She put her hands all the way down in my pants. Why are you telling him that? You have a DVD player in your car. Are you guys rich? Yeah. Yeah, we're rich. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> She's going to think we're perverts. Turn it off. Very handsome hair.
On behalf of Natalie's family, I want to thank you all for being here today and participating in this search for her. For those of you who have time tomorrow morning, I think Beth. Oh, hi, Jeff. Oh, I'm so hey, glad sweetie. you're here. Thanks so much for coming, Carol. It's a hot day. We have covered a lot of terrain. I know it's been difficult. Carol, Maggie, this is Diana. She's been amazing helping us. Everything. I hope you two have better luck than me getting Beth to take a nap and eat more than two bites. I just want to let you know that we're going to re-air your statement from this morning, again tonight and tomorrow. Anything until the police agree to invite the FBI to help work on the case. Thank you. Maggie, you can start by logging all the calls we've been getting all the tip lines. And Carol, you can help me coordinate with the churches back home who are helping raise the reward. Me. There have been 23 sightings of Natalie on the tip line. 23. She's here. On this island somewhere. Alive. Today, the Aruba government allowed all government employees to leave work a half day early and join a search for What's today, Natalie? Friday? Four and a half days since Natalie disappeared. Yeah. Yes, we have a medevac plane sitting at the, the airport uh, ready to Harvard. bring her home. The Dutch yep. Marines have got the sand dunes mm -hmm. with a fine tooth comb and pretty much from the yeah. White House to the hotel has been covered well, as well. That's how I knew that the FBI was on its way down. I heard it on the news this morning. CNN gets everything first. It's crazy how the media swooped down on us here. But if it helps us get our hands on... Can, can I call you back? I just found out that Natalie is being held in a Chala house in St. Nicholas. And they're saying they will release her if you give them $4,000. Where the hell are you? You brought your camera crew? Get out of here! I don't want you here! Make them go away. I don't want them taking pictures of my daughter after she's been held hostage. After who knows what she's been through. You don't understand. The story is big. It's huge. She's not here. Oh. Liars, you lied to us! I believe them. I thought we were about to get her back. Come on, guys, get back from the car. I thought I was about to... Give her a break. Leave hey, her alone. Come on, come on, we gotta... Try to have faith. Oh, don't tell me that. You don't know how much I prayed. Oh, God. Why don't you answer my prayer? I'm the one that invited that guy to the pub. If it wasn't for me. Stop! It's not your fault. Tonight, as the search grows, two men in custody in connection with Natalie's disappearance. These two security guards worked for the Allegro Hotel. What led police to these two security guys? I'm guessing the three guys that picked her up from the bar? Today, a mattress was discovered with blood on it. Beth, 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 you provided police with blood samples. Is that true? Hey, look, she's not going to talk to you, okay? Leave her alone. Do you think the security guards murdered your daughter? Get her out of here. Look, please, just help us, all right? We would just appreciate it if you could get out the information about the reward, all right? A lot of folks back home have been pitching in, and we're offering $100,000 for Natalie's safe return. And we also have $50,000 for any information leading up to us finding her. It's 